Hey guys, what's up? iTech Expert here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you guys how to customize your status bar carrier name. Right here, you guys can see that I have a custom carrier name for my status bar right here. I am running iOS 18.4 beta 1. As you guys can see by the build number right there which is 22E5200S. All right, so what you guys wanna do on your computer is go to your browser and then go to this website, which you guys can find in the description box down below. It is kawa and bun.ga. All right, so once you're on the Kawabanga website just download the kawabunga light app right here if you guys are running mac os big sur get the version mac os 11 that's for mac os big sur if you are on mac os monterey or higher get the mac os 12 plus version right here i will have a tutorial for windows later in this video it's basically the same as Mac OS, it's just a slightly different UI. All right, so on Mac OS here, I'm going to get the Mac OS 12 plus version. For the Windows app, uh, I forgot to mention this, but it does actually have uh, less features than the Mac OS version since the Windows version hasn't actually been updated in some time now. All right, so from here, I'm going to go to Finder on my Mac here, and then Downloads right here, open up the zip file, and I'm going to open the app right here. If you get this message on Mac OS, just click Done, go to System Preferences, and then scroll down until you find Privacy and Security. And then just scroll all the way down until you find this message right here. Kawabunga Lite.app was blocked to protect your Mac. Just click Open Anyway, and Open Anyway again. Enter in your password, and the app is now opened. Just connect your iPhone to your Mac now. Mine's already connected. As you guys can see right here, the iPhone is connected to my Mac now. So now I can uh, apply some mods to it. For today's video, I am just going to change the status bar carrier name. So I just go to the status bar section right here click modify and then enable change primary carrier text right here and you change this into the Apple logo and now once you guys are done there's also tons of other options which you guys can choose from right here there's a bunch of mods that you guys can apply to your iPhone, but right now I am just going to focus on the status bar, which is for this uh, YouTube video. Right here in the setup options, you would want to disable this if you have configuration profiles installed on your iPhone. Otherwise, if you don't uh, disable this, and you have configuration profiles installed on your iPhone, this uh, setting in the Kawabunga Lite app is going to mess with your configuration profiles, which it did for me before, and I had to restore my iPhone to remove what was added from the configuration profile. All right, so I'm just going to disable this right here, and then I'm going to go to the apply section, 
And right now, all you guys want to do on your iPhone is go to settings and then go and disable find my iPhone right here. Make sure this is disabled on your iPhone. Now I'm going to click on apply tweaks right here. And as you can see on my iPhone, it's now going to reboot and apply those uh, tweaks. All right, so the iPhone has rebooted now, and as you can see on the computer, it's already done. The device should reboot now, as you guys can see right here, and then says restore successful. So that means it worked, and you're done now. So now, just unlock your iPhone, and then just set up as usual. Don't worry, the data on your device is still there. Nothing is um, going to be removed from your iPhone. Okay, so once you guys see the screen right here, make sure to click on continue with partial setup and not erase and start over or else your data is going to be gone. Click on the option below. Right, click on don't share and now once we open the control center as you guys can see right here we have the Apple logo as our custom carrier name now and that also goes for the lock screen as well so we have successfully changed our status bar carrier name and yeah for Windows users, just go to your browser, same as Mac OS, and then go to the website down below in the description box, and then download the Windows version right here. Open that up. Let's open this zip file right here. And we need to run the Kamabunga Lite.exe file right here. Extract all. And put this in my Kamabunga Lite uh, empty folder right here so that we can extract the files to this folder. Just, uh, make an empty folder and just put all the Kamabunga Lite files in there. Just like this one right here where I'm going to put all the extract the files from the Kawabunga Lite zip to this folder. Alright, so now we can see all the Kawabunga Lite files right here. Just open up the exe file right here, which is app. If you guys see this message right here, just click more info and then run anyway. And the app is now opened. Now just go to status bar right here, click modify and go ahead and enable change carrier text. Enter in whatever name you want. And then if you guys have configuration profiles installed on your iPhone, make sure this section right here is disabled and go to the apply section and click on apply changes. And yeah, that's basically it for Windows.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.